Yeah, we have a 96 Boers project right here. And, uh, who are you? Hi, Jarvox. I'm Grant Likely. I'm uh, um, an, an ARM engineer, and uh, this is a personal project that I've been working on for the last uh, couple of years. So there's a whole bunch of stuff going on under there. Yes, so this is an arcade panel that I uh, spent uh, the last few months designing and building. I left it up here. And so this is, uh, I'm using 96 boards, uh, Dragon Board, to, uh, for, for playing retro games. And I built an arcade, cap, arcade panel for all the controls. So what you can see here, I've got uh, standard arcade controls, uh, standard trackball, and then I did some work with uh, using um, the Linux image, Debian on 96 boards to play all the games, and then an STM32 F3 discovery board bringing so in all the inputs. Let's check out how, how awesome it looks uh, right here. These guys are playing right now the Toops uh, game right here. It's got all these lights going on. Yep. It's all lit up. Which I've used uh, NeoPixels. Yeah. Uh, retrofit all the arcade buttons to get uh, to light it up, and I'm using the the STM32 to drive the uh, to drive all the LEDs. And um, I'm also taking advantage of some of the great work that's been done by the uh, by the engineers here at Lenaro. Uh, Rob Clark on the end here had um, he got the, he's been doing the graphics drivers on the Qualcomm chips. And so we've got a Dragon Board 820C plugged in right now. This 820 right now? That's this one right here. And you got the graphics to work? Yep. It's working? Mm -hmm. And we have cool. very smooth 3D graphics. Uh, the, the Dragon Board has been a, a really great Because this game you're playing right now is a this higher is, end, uh, higher demanding game yes, a little bit, right? Yes. So everything here is open source. The, all of the graphics drivers are open source, all of the, the software that's running this is an open source game. Uh, the tools that I use to design the arcade panel, I open sourced and put up on GitHub, as well as the design of the, the electronics design and the firmware on the STM32. Nice. So it's got a whole uh, system, it's like pixels, the yes. LED pixels, yes. it's, uh, they're all connected to each other somehow. There's yes. like patterns going on. Yes. How do you send the patterns over there? Well, come take a look at the panel. Yeah. And as I said, I retrofitted the arcade buttons by over one of these. These, these LED holders were originally designed for uh, just regular light bulbs. So I retrofitted them by pulling out the, um, the spade lugs. Uh, these are uh, SK68 uh, 12 pixels, and they are RGBW, so red, green, blue, white, uh, and they're serial programmable. So you can see that I've got a daisy chain of LEDs. Nice. And, and you... there's one channel, so all of these come through to the STM32, and there's one channel, this cable right here, that drives all of the pixels in the string. And so there's an STM32 connected yes. to uh, where? Where do, where do you connect the? Uh, this this is over the USB. The 96 board it goes into. So this this module here, I wrote firmware. I took I got firmware used a, a previous project to uh, expose it as a USB HID device. So when you plug this into the 96 board or plug it into a laptop, it shows up as four joysticks and a mouse. And when I have the firmware finished, there will also be an interface for controlling the colors of the LEDs. And uh, how do you do the front here? All right, this is, so the panel, I designed the panel in OpenSCAD. Uh, and I have, as I said, I have a tool that lays out all the controls, uh, figures out what the, what the size is, how it needs to be cut, how to curve them, and then it spits out uh, laser cut files. So I have access to a large laser cut um, I will plug Make Aberdeen, that is a local makerspace in uh, Aberdeen where I live. They have a 1200 millimeter wide uh, arcade, uh, laser cutter and they were able to cut all these panels. So it's one layer of acrylic, okay. three layers of MDF all glued together, and then the, um, the, art, the artwork I got done by a local sign company in Aberdeen. Uh, my wife designed the, did the graphic design, got it printed up on vinyl, and then put onto the panel. This is a, there's a whole bunch of 96 boards designs yes. going on here. Yes. All right. So this, this, this particular one, these two here, were built. Yep. These, these were built to show off what we could do with 96 boards. 
and so we're you know we're running open source games. We're using it in a in a project, and it's an awful lot of fun. It's not what? It's an awful lot of fun. Awful lot of fun. Yeah. And this beautiful little ball here yeah. is this a standard system? That is a track uh, ball. Yeah. A track so ball. That that works like a regular mouse. So uh, if you can see here. The trackball is a mouse replacement, and so there's some old arcade games like uh, Centipede, where having a trackball is a lot of fun. You can you can load any game, all kinds of games. If you are, you can it it'll play any game that'll run on Linux. Uh, you can the Dragon boards or most of the high 96 boards will run both Android and regular desktop Linux. So any games that you can run on those, you can run with this. Where do you get the, those uh, materials for the buttons and stuff? There are lots of vendors who, who sell those. I found a vendor, uh, Arcade World UK, that I And it's high quality, it's really nice. Yep, these are Japanese joysticks, Sanwa joysticks. These are nice. generic buttons. These are very uh, very easy to come by. And the trackball is made by Ultimark. So you can just connect in, connect this to an 80, 84 inch uh, 4K Absolutely. TV? Absolutely, yes. And, uh, Potentially, some people can take your open source design and, and make anyone can take the design, go take it, play with it, modify it, make make your own arcade panel. Nice. What's your next project? <laughs> I'm recovering from this one. <laughs> it took a while, right? It, it took a while, uh, and I've had a lot of interest in this one, so I may build a few more of these before I go on to something else.